How you too? It's your girl Natalie, the one true diamond, coming at you guys with Friday morning chit chat. It's Friday, 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 Friday. It's a gray haze over. This rain is. Ooh, I don't know if it's helping my joints or not. But anyway, it's Friday. I'm happy. My nails look like crap. That's why I always hate to paint them because they chip. Can y'all tell me how in the world? I can keep my nails from chipping and they can last all week. I've tried everything. Sensational nails, gel nails, top coat, base top coat, everything. And my nails, I don't know, maybe it's the profession. I mean, I'm washing too much. But if I go and get the, um, I guess they're Chinese, Korean, whatever they are. I don't know what they are. I'm not trying to disrespect anybody, so I don't think I am. I just don't know what they're next now. I think some are Chinese. Some might be. I don't know where they're from, Philippines. I don't know where they're from, but you know when you go to the nail shop, let me just say nail shop, then that way I won't offend anybody because I know what it means am I trying to offend anybody. But when you go to the nail shop, it will last me two weeks without chipping. I'm like, and I watch how they do it, and I'm like, okay, what are y'all doing that's different than what I'm doing? It must take, it, it takes a special kind, I guess. I don't know. I ain't, I'm not doing something right, but anyway... I try to save money because you know we coupon and we get nail polish all the time for free or close to free and I've got all this nail polish I mean containers of it pull out drawers full of it I'm like I can't I don't want to keep paying them um, anywhere from 25 to 30 dollars to do my nails just to paint my own nails I don't get the acrylics or the other stuff because I can't wear fake nails in nursing profession because I'm doing bedside care, so I cannot um, wear the fake nails. But I will get the gel overlay and things like that on it. But I, I just don't know. I, I just don't know about this thing. I know y'all like, how in the world do we get off on painting nails? <laughs> I just look down at these crappy nails and gotta go to work and talk to people. Sometimes I'm so embarrassed with these nails. So a lot of times I just leave my nails plain, just bare plain because I think it looks worse to see it chipping. It looks like you're unkept when you see chipped nails. So, but the thing of it is now, I can paint my toenails and they will last forever until I'm ready to paint them again. You know, they'll start to grow out some and then you can see it. But other than that, it does not chip. I, I don't know, maybe because my toes don't get washed all the time or that soap, that antibacterial soap maybe is what's... Um, chipping and peeling. I don't know. But anyway, let me get off these nails. My God, I don't want to spend my whole morning chit-chat on that. Anyway, what are you guys' plans for the weekend? I have no plans whatsoever. And I'm trying to think. And then um, Derek was like, because I think he wants to send me on an errand, is what that is. Is what I'm thinking. He's like, aren't you going to Raleigh the weekend? I'm like, no. Never once. <laughs> I never once said I was going to Raleigh. Not once. <laughs> Like you're trying to implant that into my spirit, so I'll say, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna go to Raleigh." I don't know, but no, I'm not going to Raleigh because you want something out of that big and tall store. No, I'm not. <laughs> oh God! But anyway, so I, I'm not. I'm not planning on doing anything the weekend, and I don't know. It might would be nice to ride up there. I might could find something better at the Super Doubles up there because our shelves. These people ain't playing around here. I'm telling y'all, they are not playing. A lot of stuff is cleared out, but a lot of it I didn't even really want anyway. So it was like, it's no big deal. It wasn't like I was heartbroken, like, oh, you know, like I can't find. It wasn't like that anymore because a lot of it I didn't need. And what I wanted to get was my, um, the Clorox cleanups because I had a few um, pillies that someone had sent me for those. So I got those done. Um, and you know, I still got a few of the little Debbies I got to get rid of. So, I, I did get rid of some of those. And, um, yeah, I'm trying to think of everything. Little Debbies and the, um, what else was I trying to get rid of? The Little Debbies and the, um, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, I got some oatmeal. And that's it. 
oh, that's, that, that, that's really it. Some juice, and that's it. That's all I really got. So, yeah, so it was really not too much. But the things I wanted, I did get. So, yeah, I did clip some coupons today to get, um, dang, what did I clip? To get some more juice. The Tropicana, um, what is it? The Tropicana um, Garden Stand, whatever it is, it's vegetable juice. It's vegetables and fruit juice mixed together. Kind of almost like a V8 is what it looks, sounds like to me, okay? So I did get one of those last night, but then I clipped coupons. Y'all know this is bad. I just clipped coupons, and God knows I can't remember what coupons I clipped. <laughs> That's what happens when you're clipping fast in a hurry. I did clip an Al May coupon because I heard someone say it was free, but then it's $4 also. It must be. Maybe it's, I don't know how much it is, but if it's more than $4, I'm not getting it. So, <laughs> all that deodorant I got in the house and Secret is my brand. I just want to try the Alme just to see what it's about, you know. I'll try something, but I'm not going to pay a whole lot of money to get it. Um, yeah. But I know I clipped something else, but I can't remember what it was now. So, anyway. Oh, well. I think that's all it was, was it? The Tropicana juice, I think that's what I clipped. But anyway, now I'm on my way because I don't have to be working till 10 because we had a meeting and God forbid they won't let you have overtime so you got to flex your time. So I'm on my way now and I'm hoping to God that there's not many people in Vicky's Secrets because I got a $10 um, birthday card I need to spend. Plus I want that free umbrella. And I don't know if these bras are expensive then I'm like I can buy an umbrella a decent umbrella for the price of one of these bras because the ones online were like 40 to 60 dollars so I'm like okay 98 dollars for two bras is ridiculous and I was trying to find a way how to break break it down a little bit cheaper I'm like I, my hats goes off to you ladies who can do that I, I can't do that that's just too much money for a bra you know and I'm like and I'm not really sure if me and this body will fit comfortably, you know, because if my bra ain't comfortable, I ain't happy. I bought that bra, I bought, y'all know I showed y'all two bras I bought from Kohl's, and I wore one the other day, and it was not comfortable to me. That something about that material was not comfortable. So that other one is going back as soon as I get a chance. It'll probably go back this weekend. And I'm returning that bra because I'm like, I got to be comfortable. If I feel like I'm all bound up, I can't stand it. It's already worse enough you got to wear one. When I come home, plop, they off and the boobies are flying everywhere. I know TMI. But I, I just, I got to be comfortable. And I can't go all day being uncomfortable. And that's how I was. And as my patients would leave out of the room, <laughs> I was like this, <laughs> like trying to get some relief from the bra. I'm like, ugh. Oh. And then one time I was thinking after my patient left, I'm like, did I raise up and lift that movie? <laughs> I know they were probably like thinking, I don't think I did. But you know how at an afterthought you wonder, did I do that when the patient was here? That's how I was thinking. I'm like, I hope to God I didn't do that while the patient was here. That would be embarrassing. Yes, it would be. Anyway, I'm going to get off here for now because I'm turning into the mall now. And, um, yeah, I'm turning into the mall now. I'm trying to think the best entrance to go in because I don't want if I go in through the main entrance. Victoria's Secret is way down. I'm trying to get the shortest walk down because I ain't about doing a whole lot of walking. I got to run in and get out so I can get what I need to get done. Done. I know Victoria's Secret is on the other side of the belts. I think it's on the other side of the belts on the back side. But I'm going in through this front side. I'll just have to feel on my way. Okay, you guys. Anyway, I'm going to get off here for now. But as always, remember to give God some praise. Give him some thanks for waking you up this morning. Starting you on your way. Giving you another chance to get it right, okay? It's always a blessing to get it right. All right? I'll see y'all guys in the next video. Bye.